Uh, critics have deemed the TV ad for Amica chips blasphemous and have demanded it to be taken down immediately. So today we're asking, should Christianity be protected from mockery? Well, let's talk to um, priest and writer, the Reverend Michael Corran, and Catholic priest, Father Ed Tomlinson. Good to see you both. Father, can I start with you? What, what do you think? Should there be a level of protection so that... Images like this of Rihanna and, and, and that TV advert just shouldn't be allowed. Well, I think um, we're dealing here with uh, an increasing problem of the moronic meets the mystical. In the West now, there is such a dumbed down culture that I think a lot of people not even intentionally end up offending Christians just due to their pig ignorance, really. And I think with the crisp advert, you could see that people thought, well, it's a wafer, let's make it a crisp. When in fact, we're dealing here, as you rightly said, with deeply held beliefs by Catholics that actually, at the Mass, a, a beautiful exchange of gifts occur when we offer ourselves to God in the forms of bread and wine, representing all we are and all we have. And then at the Mass, they are transformed mystically into the body and blood of Christ. So it couldn't be a more holy and sacred moment. And to mock that is absolutely outrageous. But I think I would be very careful about how you would police that. I think in our present culture, where we've seen global powers take a bit too much power away from us, I would be quite nervous about handing even more power to those people, because actually often... They are the very people pushing for the discrimination of Christians. Oh. Reverend Michael, let's bring you in at this stage. So uh, we've got Father Ed there talking about free speech and the importance of it. Uh, but I suppose one of the things that is really irking people is the fact that Christianity uh, seems to be the only religion which can be mocked. You wouldn't see this happen with a, with a sexy hijab, for example. Well, I mean, first of all, I... Uh... I have to say that uh, calling people pig ignorant, I don't think is very helpful in this debate. Uh, I would agree that certainly we shouldn't have protection of any religion, but the fact is that Christianity seems to be the only faith that can be openly and widely mocked. Now, mockery of religion is not necessarily a bad thing, but you saw what happened, for example, in Paris, tragically obscenely with uh, Charlie Hebdo. And yes, any other religion outside of Christianity, whatever denomination, probably would not be mocked. Uh, I want a level playing field. I, I want separation of church and state, uh, but we don't really have that. We seem to have a state increasingly empowered and emboldened to mock what it thinks it's safe and won't fight back, which is Christianity. Uh, that's not saying I want fighting back as such. I just want more implicit respect from people. Now, the, the, uh, the front of the magazine, I don't know, it's advertising. Advertising is hardly moral, is it? It's amoral, if anything. Uh, the Italian uh, commercial, it's not funny. It's a very tired trope. I mean, I, these people have paid lots of money to produce ads, and that's the best they can come up with. What I do worry about, actually, though, and oddly enough, ironically enough, Richard Dawkins referred to this, it's cultural Christianity, which I question because I think you're either a Christian or you're not. But we do have a culture in the West founded on certain themes. And we seem to be drip, drip, mocking them and, and, and abusing them. If that goes on, eventually, I think we're going to turn around and say, what have we got left to defend and what is left to defend us? Mm. In what sense, Michael? I mean, I, I, I don't quite understand your... You, quite what you're getting at in terms of the, there'd be nothing left to defend. What do we stand for in the West? We talk about liberal values and Western values, uh, but what actually are they? I think they're founded in Judeo-Christian beliefs. And those very beliefs, those foundational elements of what we're meant to hold dear, we seem to take a delight in mocking and abusing. And this is seen in other parts of the world. I mean, if, if you go to the Middle East, if you spend any time in, in Russia, they certainly think that we're almost committing a form of cultural suicide. So that's my real concern. It's not another ad, uh, an, another comedy sketch that thinks it's OK and safe to poke fun at Christians. I, I don't particularly care. What I do care about is a, a future next generation that doesn't actually know what it stands for, whether it's a belief system based on Christianity or a culture based on Christian virtues. Oh. Father Ed, what do you make of it? 
Well, I, I think actually when I said pig ignorant, I think that's the very best we can say. I'd be more worried if they had made that poster of Rhiannon not out of ignorance, because at that point you're looking at somebody trying to make the sacred profane, and that becomes a lot more dark and sinister, I think. Uh, you're into the realm of wanting to do something really quite nasty, because, of course, there's a purity and a virtue in the religious life when done properly, which nuns take on. And to want to sexualize that would disturb me hugely if it wasn't just ignorance. And I think there is a, a huge debate to be had here about why it is that in the West today we're so uncomfortable with themes like obedience, virtue, holiness and goodness. There seems to be a reveling in things that when you really follow them to their end conclusion, lead us in a, a worse and not a better direction. It's interesting okay. that you, yeah. I mean, you both, and particularly Father, you seem to emphasise a lot of what we're getting through on the messages this morning, which people, people don't like any of this, um, right, and, right. but they still don't think it should be policed. In a sense, there mm. should still be that freedom of expression, even if it's only so we can we can voice our well, that, distaste. That, that's of it. one of the very virtues I was talking about. The, those Christian values. I mean, uh, in, in what we take for granted, the ability uh, to to mock things that are actually devout and held very dear by many people, that doesn't exist in most of the world, mm. and that's not hyperbole. In most of the world, you can't speak your mind. You couldn't make an ad. You couldn't uh, mock something that has power and influence. So isn't it ironic that we are attacking the, what we actually gives us the freedom to, to express it? Now, you know, I, I was watching, oddly enough, just last night, I was watching the debate that took place years ago over uh, Monty Python's Life of Brian, with Malcolm Mugridge and the Bishop of Southwark being incredibly self-righteous, actually. If you watch that film today, it's a very powerful message. It has a lot to say about religion and religiosity and, and, and legalism and love. None of these things do. They're just very basic, tired mocking of, of, of what people have mocked for the last 20 years because they can get away with it. And that's a really very sad commentary, isn't it? 